Welcome vacationers on another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about whether or not it's worth staying at Disney properties. Now, I always feel like this is a loaded question because there's so much involved and so much to unpack. So, let's go ahead and start. So when it comes to asking the question whether it's worth it or not to stay at the Disney properties, I always feel like I stated it's a loaded question because there's so many things involved that comes to your trip or your stay. And first and foremost, at least to me, that's your budget, right? Everything goes by your budget and your itinerary, meaning the time or the length that you get to stay. I don't believe this is a black and white answer and I'm not here to give you a straightforward answer if that's what you're looking for. But what I can do is help you unpack and we can look at it from a different perspective so you can make a conscious decision whether it's right for you and your family in your next trip. So let's begin with the pros. One of the biggest pros about staying at the Disney resorts is the fact that you get the full immersive experience. And let me tell you, that's something that you can't find in a lot of places, not even Universal Studio. Disney has that Disney magic, and yes, I know we're in a pandemic now, but when it was at its full force, what those cast members did to make you feel as if everything else outside Disney World did not exist is actually magical. From waking up in the morning and seeing Mickey to going back to sleep and only seeing Mickey, it's an experience that I believe everybody should go through. It should be on everybody's bucket list. Another pro is the fact that Disney does a lot of little things that we maybe take for granted. And for example, I'm talking about transportation. There is no reason why you need to get into your car and go anywhere while you're in Disney properties, unless you have to go outside the Disney World property. When it comes to going anywhere, you have a bus, you have boats, you have monorails, and now you have Skyliners to take you to and from restaurants, theme parks, shopping. So it's so convenient for you to have it all there in one spot. Another part of this convenience is the fact that when you go out to the parks and you wanna buy stuff, especially merch, I know when I go to Hollywood Studios because it's Star Wars, I'm in there going to get that merch. But it just sometimes it sucks carrying that around all day throughout the park. You can send that back to your room. That's a convenience. I do it all the time. Every time I buy something, or there's big, medium, or large, I try to send it back to the room as soon as possible. Now, there is time constraints depending on the time that you want to do it, but the fact that it's there, it's very convenient. Another one is the quality. Let me tell you, the quality of the rooms and the amenities that you get in these resorts are one of a kind. That's where you get such a hefty price for it. Cause it's such a big brand, Disney's such a huge brand. And when their engines are running at full and you have that magic going, it's something out of another world. That's why, it, that's why it's Disney World. And I commend Disney for even having such a high quality in their value resorts. Because their value resorts, it's the lowest of their tiers, but regardless of fact, they're still really good rooms. And outside the rooms themselves, the amenities that you get at the resorts, which include the pool, the, the dining area, the shop, the, the arcade, which I spend a lot of time in, they're amazing. They're amazing and it's a lot of fun for your family. But that's not to say that Disney Resorts has its downfalls. And the biggest downfall of them all is the cost. Disney Resorts are really expensive. Like, really expensive their value resorts start off at a hundred dollars plus and their deluxe rooms can go almost a thousand dollars a night depending on the time you book it that's something that you have to scratch your head for and really budget and look at your the time meaning how long you're going to be there for and whether it's affordable or not for you and your family 
Another downfall of the cost is what you pay for food and beverages. There's a huge upcharge for things like water, soda, and just food. A water bottle outside the Disney World will cost you around a dollar plus change. Inside Disney World, it goes for almost four dollars. So you have to keep that in mind when you're calculating the cost of your trip. When it comes to me and staying at Disney properties, everything comes down to time and money. Basically, my budget. If it's within the realm of my budget and I can't afford it, I might do it. But for the most part, I'm okay with staying outside Disney property and using that extra cash to enjoy maybe a nice dinner or bringing other family members along on the trip. But that's just my opinion. So when it comes to answering the question, are Disney resorts really worth it? And I'm asked that question. I always ask back, it depends on you and your family. And the two biggest components is your budget, meaning is it affordable? And two, it's the time. How much time are you gonna spend at the resort? Are you gonna be able to take some time away to actually enjoy the resort itself and all its amenities? Or are you just gonna go there to sleep so you can go to the parks? A lot of that has to be weighed in. To conclude, what I want you to get out of this video is, if anything, awareness. The fact that there are other hotels and resorts outside the Disney property that you can utilize if your budget or affordability, it's a bit tight depending on your trip. That does not take away from the Disney properties and the fact that they are really high quality and you should, like I stated before, have at least one time experience of the full immersive of the Disney magic. Now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you think it's worth it staying at the Disney properties. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe as we put out videos every weekend. On to the next trip, stay safe.